Welcome to the Intelligent Industrial Parts Sorting System Using Computer Vision Graduation Project. The project is done by Nadir Shakshir and Rani Abdel Hadi. Now we're going to show a graphical user interface for the project and then we're going to show you a demo of the project. So this is the graphical user interface which has a camera on button, system on button, settings and other options that we're going to talk about right now. So we can capture an image, save images as object 1 or object 2 and open the folder for the objects which are used to the learning process. Here we have the pixel th threshold that tells the system that there is an object on the belt by comparing it to an empty belt image. And here we have the settings for the image classification and if we have to calibrate the belt or the motor and we run the system. So when we run the system, we can see the conveyor belt uh, with the objects passing by under the camera. And uh, we're going to see that the threshold is being compared right now. So the two objects are being compared. And depending on that, it detects that there is an object. When it detects that there is an object, it triggers the image classification uh, for, uh, method and then gives us the number of objects that has been classified and it's right now here number one so if we open the folder for object number one we see that it consists of pliers and so our detection was correct now for the demo we're gonna test it with uh, different objects so we're gonna pass uh, a plier and a screwdriver different kinds of pliers and screwdrivers and we're gonna watch the rotational container rotating depending on the object so it's gonna rotate as number one for uh, pliers and uh, number two for screwdrivers so the first one is a, a plier and the second one is a screwdriver Here we have another trial where we have different pliers and screwdrivers and other objects got, that goes to different pins. So we have uh, pliers that go to pin number 2 and screwdrivers that go to pin number 1 and other objects that go to no pin number 3. So right now we have a plier that's going to go to pin number 2. Exactly. And then the screwdriver has to go to pin number 1 so it has to rotate to the right again and so on with all the objects that are being recognized. Thank you so much for watching.